Giovanna, the mayor doesn't live here. He's the landlord of this property. And tonight he tells me that some of his renters who are under suspicion by narcotics detectives have had to find another place to stay for the night. They can't return to their unit because it's part of an ongoing investigation. This is the place. Bell Mayor Oscar Hernandez owns the rental property where detectives allege a meth lab was in operation. The back house is still off limits hours after the raid. Sheriff's investigators arrested two men, both Mexican nationals, at the home, but the mayor says they've since been released. And they say, yeah, they, they let us go this morning. They don't find nothing against us. They say whatever they find in my place is part of my job. It's, that's the, the, the chemicals, the one we use for the laying floors, tiles, and all that kind of stuff. The mayor rented the unit to a couple with a two-year-old and three-year-old. The children are now in protective custody. Acting on a tip, the California Methamphetamine Enforcement Team went to the address on Bell Avenue and found what it calls a super lab, capable of cooking 20 pounds of meth at one time. Cooking 20 pounds of meth at one time requires a whole lot of bad chemicals, uh, makes a whole lot of acid in the process, and it's extremely, extremely dangerous. The mayor says he and his family were not aware of an alleged meth lab at the property and have no involvement in anything illegal. His son and daughter live in the front house, one block away from the market he owns. He says the renters paid on time, and the children's mother is eight months pregnant. She's ready to do any time, and she was crying and very embarrassed about the situation, and I feel sorry for her and the kids. And the mayor says that these renters, he've not, he's not had any problems with them in the past. And he says that he believes their side of the story, that these chemicals were there for work purposes. Tonight, we've been trying to get confirmation from the sheriff's department about why these two men were released. But we've uh, yet to be able to get that confirmation for you. Reporting live in Bell, I'm Melissa McBride, ABC7 Eyewitness News. All right, Melissa, thank you. Mothers took to the streets of Englewood today, calling attention to the still unsolved murder of a teenager five years ago. In May of 2004, someone gunned down 15 year old Devonya Thomas in front of his home. Today, the group Justice for Murdered Children passed out reward flyers. They hope someone will come forward with new information for investigators. It's time for us to do something about this killing. This is not just a one person thing. I have a lot of mothers here with me. Each and every one of them has lost their child. Most of them that with me, the murder have not been solved. And this is just unacceptable. The victim's grandmother says he was shot while sitting on the front porch with a group of children. Police say Thomas was an innocent victim, but a motive is not known.